Hey everybody, Justin Wu Lee coming in. Got some really, really good news. Incredible news, actually. We already have checkmate against tyrants. We just haven't moved our piece on the chessboard yet. Let me go ahead and break down the numbers and show you what I'm talking about. Let's move on to the Wikipedia article I've pulled up on screen. Now before I go any further, and I'm sure I don't have to tell you guys this, but all of our men and women in the United States Armed Forces are not the enemy, all right? Most of them are awake. In fact, they completely refused to invade Syria due to how many of them were awake. We saw them posting signs uh, saying that they were blatantly aware of the tyranny taking place and they would not invade and murder people in Syria. This poll has given even further impetus to the 9-11 truth movement, which is comprised of thousands of people in the United States and around the world who reject the official account of the 9-11 attacks, which served as justification for the Afghanistan war in the first place. The truth movement draws its conclusions on the factual findings of an impressive list of highly qualified researchers who have compiled a solid body of evidence contradicting every major aspect of the official account. For this purpose, various associations of professionals have been formed in the nine years since 9-11. Among them are Pilots for 9-11 Truth, listing hundreds of former air controllers, civil and military pilots, and aviation experts from all over the world. Firefighters for 9-11 Truth, journalists and other media professionals for 9-11 Truth, intelligence officers for 9-11 Truth, including former top CIA analysts and former British Secret Service agents. Lawyers for 9-11 Truth. Medical professionals for 9-11 Truth. Political leaders for 9-11 Truth, including members of the Japanese parliament, former state and defense secretaries from different countries, and the honorary president of the Italian Supreme Court. Religious leaders for 9-11 Truth. Veterans for 9-11 Truth. Architects and engineers for 9-11 Truth, counting over 1,200 architectural and engineering professionals. Three new groups have just been formed and have been announced on September 9th in joint press conferences in New York and Los Angeles. They are actors and artists for 9-11 Truth, which includes theater and film actors, playwriters, novelists, screenwriters, film and stage directors, singers, composers, and music performers from all over the world. Scientists for 9-11 Truth with more than 60 signatories between astrophysicists, biologists, biochemists, medical scientists, chemists, computer scientists, ecologists, geologists, geophysicists, mathematicians, physicists, and science professors from all over the world. Now, in a dictatorial takeover, finding ourselves in martial law type situation. Here's how many people we have in, and this is armed forces, this isn't one branch, this is everybody. There they all are right there. Okay, and here's the numbers we're looking at. Active, a million three hundred plus thousand, let's round up, let's call it a million four hundred thousand. Alright, and reserve, eight hundred and fifty thousand. Let's round up again, let's call that nine hundred thousand. We're looking at 2,300,000, essentially. That's after rounding up. Now, going over here to YouTube, the Obama deception. Now, this is just one of the copies on just YouTube alone. Keep that in mind. And we are looking at 13 million, closer to 14 million people have viewed this video. We're looking at what is about a 75 to an 80 percent approval rating. Here's the deal. Most of the people that disliked this video in 2009 that didn't have a clue, you know, all these guys, seeing as it is now 2014, um, the National Defense Authorization Act was signed in 2012. Of course, Obamacare recently came out, pissed a whole bunch of people off. So just between Obamacare and the National Defense Authorization Act, a lot of these people 
would have thumbed this video up if this video came out just today. See what I'm saying here? We are looking at, four, let's round up a little bit, 14 million of us are awake and we are sitting here worried about taking a step forward when worst case scenario and like I said most of our armed forces are awake but worst case scenario we would be up against again 2,300,000 that's after rounding up here that's everybody that's everybody so what are we afraid of we've like I said we've already got checkmate it's in the numbers it's clear as day all we need to do is keep gathering arms and then assemble and then we will literally roll over tyrants with little to no resistance checkmate this video is open source material special thanks to the following youtube channel and here is the game plan